What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexia and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time to jump back into the magic, majestic, weird and wonderful world of Bee Swarm Simulator fan made games. So it has been a little while since we've last made one of these episodes and now I remember why it has been so long. So I think I mentioned this last episode but I don't know if like Roblox changed something with the way that they have their search function, but it is so, so much harder to find the good Bee Swarm fan made maps. Um, so I've spent like all day looking through this page, trying to find some maps, and I've managed to find four of them. And we're going to look at them in this episode. Um, but yeah, it's been a real struggle. So if you do know of any really, really good maps that I haven't played already on the channel, uh, then yeah, please do let me know. That would be really cool. But are you guys ready to get stuck in? <laughs> I think we're going to start super weird. Should we start weird? Yeah, let's start weird. Well, I promised weird. And here we are with Nuke. The Bee Swarm Simulator map by none other than Swag MLG Joseph 1306. That's a powerful username. <laughs> But yeah, a while ago we did a map which was basically, we could summon a tornado and it would destroy like the Bee Swarm Simulator map. And I was like, hey, we've already, we've already done the tornado. Why don't we drop the nuke? I mean, sure, why not? Okay, we are in and uh, yeah. <laughs> so as I mentioned, I've spent like all day looking for Bee Swarm Simulator maps. And the one thing that you see an awful lot is this exact copy paste map. So I don't know when this was like taken, but there's a bunch of these out there, but there's a difference with this one. It does actually have some purpose. <laughs> and I think it's all over in this direction. Um, so yeah, just very, very quickly before we get started, I just wanted to thank everyone for using my star code. Um, so I've not mentioned it in a little bit of time, and I kind of just wanted to say thank you. Uh, in case you don't know what the star code is, basically anytime you want to go and grab some Robux, either on the mobile app or on the desktop PC version or whatever, um, there's like a little box to type in a star code. Um, so mine is thanks Sia, and if you type that in and just carry on with your purchase as normal, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does directly support the channel, the content, it supports me, uh, and it's a really, really awesome way um, just to help out a bit. So I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who's used it. If you are planning on using it, or if you have used it and you would like to let me know, uh, then please do feel free to send me a tweet. You don't have to, um, but I just wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, like the channel's a little bit slow right now, and obviously all Corona and stuff, it has kind of been a bit, <laughs> it's not been great, I'm not gonna lie. I've not mentioned that yet, but maybe we'll talk about that at some point. Um, but yeah, those little things like star codes really, really help out. So just, just very sincerely, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Right, okay, right, enough of these star code shenanigans. Let's, <laughs> let's roll. So, <laughs> the map looks like exactly the same beast one, right? And then we've got on it and his little baby child. <laughs> On it says, please nuke the Bee Swarm Simulator map. Oh, no, wait, he's Scottish, isn't he? Oh, please nuke the Bee Swarm Simulator map. Never forget, on it is Scottish. Mm -hmm. Sure, right, why not? And then, <laughs> I guess this is the map creator. He says, simple, just press the bear to start. And in the middle of the screen, we have a nuke. But not just any nuke, a polar bear nuke. <laughs> it's got, why has it got the polar bear on all right, okay. Um, so I don't think there's anything else. Oh, it's Swall on it. How did I not see you? You beast. What a man. What a myth. What a legend. All right, okay. I feel like the only thing we do in this map is just click a button. <laughs> but why not? <laughs> okay. I'm wondering if we should run. Should we run? I think we're going to run. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. <gasps> oh, snap. It's making noises. Is it going to fire? It's going to fire! <laughs> okay, lads, lads, the nuke has been released. Oh my goodness, we need to run, we need to run. Oh, jeez, look at it! Look at it! It's coming down, it's coming down! Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's exploded. There's a bear on it! There's a bear! Where's the bear? Bear, there's the bear! Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Run! Run! Can we outrun it? Go, 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 go. Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger, but we're nearly outrunning it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Come on, how far away can we get? Dude, is it going to go over the entire map? It's making the weirdest noises. That does not sound very healthy. 
Oh my goodness, I can see what he's done. Oh, the noise is horrible. Is it ever gonna stop? All right, officially everything has gone rusty. <laughs> Every <laughs> what? Oh jeez, I've somehow managed to die again. Oh jeez, look at the map. Whoa. Ooh, it looks horrible. Yeah, it looks super rusty, man. Look at this. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait like ten minutes. Maybe it will stop. Maybe it won't. I want to see what it looks like when it's finished. <gasps> Whoa! Dude, are you kidding me? On its head is now a potato. <laughs> On it. <laughs> what? Why is his head a potato? Uh, is it? Yeah, I think it's... What have I done? What have I done? Beautiful bee swarm! There's something about the textures that just makes it feel really creepy. And, like, I don't know, I, I, I haven't edited this yet, obviously, so I maybe put some music in the first bit, but I'll turn the music off now, or I'll try to remember turning it off. And the place is just really weird. It's silent. So I think everything is destroyed. Everything is gone. Apart from the strawberries, apparently they could survive. And the mushrooms. Oh, jeez, look at the gap here. <laughs> but the cactus have gone manky. Um, the, 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 the top bit's fallen off. Well, there you have it. Um, <laughs> ooh, that looks terrible over there. Look at that. Red HQ is destroyed. Blue HQ is destroyed. The mountain top is destroyed. Um, I I didn't really know what I expected from this one, but it's delivered. This is, this is such a mess. Wow. Well, there we have it. We're off to a strong start. Well, that was... I'll be honest, I didn't actually expect that to be quite so apocalyptic. Uh, I just thought it was going to, like, throw things on the floor or something. I didn't realize it was going to retexture every single block. Insane. All right, so we've had our shenanigans. Now I've got a couple of cool things to show you and then just a couple of random things. And um, so this one is the next one we're going to take a look at. This is Beast Swarm Simulator Stuff by Mixed Melancholia. And uh, yeah, this one is a really small map, but there's one single bee in this that I actually think is really, really cool. And I wanted to show you it. So yeah, let's jump in. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is what the map looks like. So it's super duper weird. It's kind of just like this big sort of area in the middle of nowhere. At least I think it is. Like there were some mentions of corridors and stuff and hallways, but I don't exactly know how to get there. So <laughs> I'm just going to kind of stick to this. Um, but there's a few really, really cool custom bees in here. And this is the one that I wanted to show you guys. So this is called the plant bee. Now look at this. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like green. It's got like a flower pot coming out of its butt <laughs> and it's kind of like flower power propelled I guess it's kind of got like some petals around it the face is really really cool and this person has actually mocked up what it would look like on the thing I'm gonna try and zoom this in so you guys can see this there's a gifted version of course as well this is a limited bee and it has some incredibly cool um tokens and abilities. I just had to show you this. I thought this was so cool. So this is all to do with pollination. And I feel like this bee would be amazing because Honor has just introduced pollination with things like the fuzzy bees. It's like a brand new mechanic in the game relatively. And I feel like this bee would be really, really cool. So look at this one. This is called Bloom Invest. Summons a giant bud into the field. It blooms when all the pollen required was collected. As it blooms, it covers the field in honey tokens that can be collected by any player and has a very small chance of granting everyone a 333% pollen boost in the field of the flower which bloomed for an hour. Think about it, right? Think about it. So this this can also like summon sprouts and stuff. So you've got all of these like really cool tokens, but you know how sprouts work in the fields, right? So you plant a sprout and then it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and then it pops and it drops all the items. Well, that number actually counts down, doesn't it? So it counts down from, you know, whatever to zero and then it pops. What if you, this, this is what this person's talking about. What if you had a flower, like a flower in a field and it started at zero and then it got bigger with the numbers, bigger and then bigger. And then when it opened up, it like had the full bloom, bang! 
it has like this crazy cool pollination because that's what flowers do. Like when they open up, you know, they're ready to be pollinated by the insects and the bees and the stuff. I feel like that would be so cool. <laughs> so I just had to show you guys this bee. I actually think it's a really good bee. This could be in the game. This is good enough to be in the game. I'm very, very impressed by the flower bee. I think that's great. So other stuff in this particular game, I, I wish there was like more information or you could click it and stuff, but there's some really, really cool custom bees. <laughs> look at this guy. I guess this is kind of like, I, I don't know what they are, but they look really, really cool. This is kind of like some angry red sunglasses bee with like a sun thing going on. I don't really know. This is like a nighttime bee, so like a moon bee. <gasps> yes, a bee that glows at nighttime. We saw that in beekeepers, you know, the game that got closed down. A bee like which had a special ability, but only when it was in the nighttime cycle. But what about a bee that changes color only at nighttime and gives you nighttime boosts? I like that. I also really like that. I think that's a great idea. On it. Put these things in the game. Oh, it's a fight. Woo. Firefly bee. I think that's what it is. Ooh, look at this. Okay, check this out. So this is um, an ability for the exhausted bee out of all the bees. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected the exhausted bee, but I just read this. I think this is so good. So its ability is called rest because obviously the exhausted bee is always like really tired, right? So it says the exhausted bee goes to the hive to rest. It rests three times longer than normal. And when it wakes up, it will have a new face and all of its stats increase by 300% for three minutes before reverting back to its insomniac state. So... <laughs> The exhausted bee kind of gets a little bit of sleep, goes crazy, gets tired out super quick, and then goes back to his usual self. I like that as well. I think that's really clever. Oh, okay. So we've got a couple different bears in this one. We've got the moon bear. Yeah, so we've had the sun bear, which is actually like a type of bear. But I always thought it would be really cool to have like a moon bear, just as like a contrast to that. Um, so this is a moon bear NPC. It looks really, really good. And over here, we just have like one more type of bee. And this is a nurse bee. Ooh, red mythic. Okay. This bee cares about your safety and well being. <laughs> it will aid your battles, uh, it'll aid you during battles and grant you extra defense, but it also boosts red pollen. And then the mythic is exactly the same, but different color. Okay, so it's a healing bee. It gives you defense boost for like, you know, battling stick bug or whatever. Looks really cool. Hmm. Okay, next up, uh, I just had to show you this. I just thought it was one of, one of the coolest things. <laughs> I absolutely love this. This is so, so cute. So uh, this is a custom bee map. This is by Eden's Meme. And uh, the one really, really awesome thing about this is that this dude has actually not used a single one of the actual Bee Swarm Simulator assets, but he's actually built everything himself from scratch. Um, so I thought this was really, really cool. The mobs, <laughs> the mobs were incredible. You gotta see this. Okay, so here we are. And as I mentioned, this is one of these games, to be honest, I've seen so few of these games where someone has actually built them all from scratch. Um, so yeah, like absolutely nothing in here is from Bee Swarm. <laughs> and I'll be honest, the scale is a little bit off. So it is really, really big compared to our normal Bee Swarm simulator map. But to be honest, I actually really, really like the way that they've spent time to recreate everything from scratch, including just simple things like this. See, these are the indexes where the, the faces of the bees are. <laughs> and I would assume that they've drawn them all themselves. <laughs> I love the demo bee. <laughs> that could actually be in the game. That looks great. So here, check this out. I have to show you the mobs. They're the most amazing thing that I've seen. It's so... <laughs> I absolutely love them. So this is the hive area and you have it like it's pretty authentic. So you've got the ticket tent over to the side. Look at the bears. <laughs> the bears are so happy. The bears are beautiful. I feel safe with this bear. But as I mentioned, the mobs are amazing. So you guys ready to see a ladybug? Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at this little scuttly boy. Oh, it's so beautiful. He's so cute. Look at this. He's not really got spots. He's kind of got like stubble. But I really love the mobs. They're so cute. Absolutely amazing. So if you think this bad boy is cute, <laughs> wait till you see the mantis. Okay, so here we go. We are going over to the strawberry field. We've got some beautiful scuttly boys here. I'm going to go backwards just to give you guys the big reveal. <laughs> are you guys ready to see the greatest mantis you will ever see? I absolutely love it. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
Look at this beautiful sticky boy. Are you kidding? I <laughs> I saw this and I was like, I have to put this in a video because like, I actually genuinely love the way that this person has, has made it all from scratch. So there are a few like assets and stuff which come with Roblox's default. So we're kind of like these trees, I think, for example, but these all look homemade to me. And to be honest, I would love to have these in the main game. I think they look amazing. They're so cute. They're really, <laughs> they're really, really adorable. You can ride on them into battle. Look at this. There's another guy over here. Look at him. <laughs> I really like these. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. Now, of course, we've got some other mobs as well. So, ta-da! It's the werewolf. <laughs> you can't even see him, to be honest. This guy is really terrifying. This is scarier than the, the, the actual main werewolf in the game. This kind of looks like some weird mole. But, like, he's lurking in the shadows. He's just waiting for you to come up, and then he's going to come and boop you. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I love it, honestly. Like, it's so cool. I know it's a little bit big, I guess. But, obviously, they've put a lot of effort into it. And I think it looks great. I really do. Oh, what about the scorpions? Are there scorpions? <gasps> there are! Yes! Oh, the scorpions look great. Okay. <laughs> so, these are the scorpions. So, these are more cylindrical, I guess. They've used, like, some different parts. Um, but, yeah, they look like scorpions. Very cool. We have the spider just chilling here in the middle. Um, and then, of course, we have our very cheeky little... Uh, <laughs> we have our little... Um, uh, I've forgotten the name of the rider beetles, of course. Yeah, look at that. So we have like all of the custom bees and stuff on the top with their with their faces. Uh, we've got all the areas down there. We've got the blue HQs, the red HQs. We've got sides bear. We've got another little sausage mantis. I wonder if there's a tunnel bear. I don't think there would be, but maybe there will. Let's go and check. Is there a tunnel bear? Is there a tunnel bear? Ah, oh, there's no tunnel there. Ooh, what about a king beetle? Moment of truth. Is there a king beetle? Is there a king beetle? There is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got a crown on. <laughs> All right. Nice little touch. Look at that. He's got a little crown on. Very, very cute. So yeah, I just had to show you this map. I thought it was great. Honestly, I'm not even joking. I think it's really cool. I love the way that it's been made from scratch. Uh, and yeah, very cool. I like it. Awesome job. So, unfortunately, I think that is going to be about it for this episode here today. I thought I had four maps, but I just went and checked, and the fourth one didn't actually work. <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to try and find some more for next time. So, yeah, of course, like, if you know of any really, really cool Beast Swarm Simulator fan-made games that you you don't think I've covered on the channel, bear in mind I have covered a lot of them. Oh, <laughs> look at the jelly beans. <laughs> I've covered a lot of them, so it's getting a little bit harder to find them. But if you think that I've missed any really, really cool ones or just, you know, crazy stuff that you think we should check out on the channel, then please do let me know. Tweet me or something. That would be amazing. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you do, please remember to put me in that like button. If you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox Stun Fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.